Hi, this is Lorraine Reguli from Wording Well, and today we're going to do two different things to create an image quote for our blog post. First, we're going to create a background image using PicMonkey.com, which is a free service, and then we are also going to create the image quote using QuotesCovered.com, which is also a free service. So first we are going to go to PicMonkey.com and click the design button here and we are going to choose a color for our canvas and I'm going to choose red and then click apply to make sure that you apply it and now we're going to choose a texture and texture is this button here um, the ones that have the little crown that's actually a, a service you have to pay for. The ones that don't have a crown in the bottom of it, say the, the space button, um, this one here doesn't. And it gives you three different designs to choose from. That one, that one, or that one. Um, I kind of like this one here, so let's just click Apply. Oh, another thing I mentioned, we could put a fade in here if we, if we want it. And a saturation, we can also you know play around with this when you're satisfied with the background um, just click apply that's kind of dark so I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit and we'll click apply and once we have our, our design now you can do different things you could add borders you could uh, I don't know simple edge border you can add a border there to it if you want it, just click Apply. You can play around with the thickness of it. You can do all kinds of things. Um, so it's totally up to you what you want to do. When you're satisfied with your background image, just click Apply. It's there. Um, if you want to add another border, you can do that as well. Um, play around with the colors. If you want to make a blue one in the background, you can do that too. I don't like the blue, so I'll cancel that. Once you have your image created, click Save, and you can save it to your computer, which is what I'm going to do. And so I am going to save it in um, the art that I made on the computer, and I'm just going to title it um, red 2 because I already have one called red so I'll call it red 2 and boom it's saved to our computer so we can actually get out of the photo editor now close that out and we'll go to quotes quotescover.com now this is a confusing place so I'm going to outline the steps that you can take very carefully what we want to do is create a quotes pick. So click on that, it's in the top right hand corner. Create a quotes pick. Now here it lists some a whole bunch of quotes down here on the side. But on the right hand side, this is uh, what we want to use in order to create our quote. Now I've already found a quote that I want to use. Here it is. It says, the real secret of success is enthusiasm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste this in. And the author's name is Walter Chrysler. So I'm going to copy this as well. Go over here and paste it in where the author's name is. And then click on Next Step. Once we've clicked on Next Step, Step, we're brought to a funny screen that shows different options. We are going to actually select the wallpaper maker option and we are going to select the standard desktop 800 by 600 um, size. So once we click on that we are brought to a new screen where we have some options we can hide the quotation marks, we can hide the author name, 
and we could hide the time and date. We're going to click the box to hide the time and date. We're also going to choose next fonts because I, the first one was really hard to see. And I'm also going to hide the quotation marks because I included the quotation marks when I copied when I copied them. Okay, so now um, if you don't want quotation marks in your thing at all, then what you should do is just simply copy your quote. Uh, whoops, that doesn't have quotation marks in it. And if we want to um, edit our quote, we can click on the A, B button in the top left corner here. So we'll just paste the new, the new wording in there and hit update. And now we don't have the quotes there, the quotation marks, sorry. So here, these are nice big letters. We can see it clearly. If we want a different color, we can choose next color. It'll change the color of the background as well. But if you want to insert your own background picture, which we want to do, click the insert picture button and we'll go to where our red two uh, um, thing that we just background picture that we just created in PicMonkey and we can see it that it, it was inserted here. Now I'm not really crazy about the white on top of the red so let's play around with the next color um, and see and you know just play around with it and until you find one that you like. Um, this is the part that kind of takes time is playing around with the colors um, there should be, oh, there's a dark one there. I kind of like that one. Now, one thing that you can do, if you look in this little button here, the AB button where the quote is, if you put a asterisk, asterisk on before success, hit update, you'll see that the word success now kind of looks funny. And if you choose next fonts, it doesn't matter which which one you do, it'll it'll still look kind of funny. Now, if we don't want it there, we can simply go back and update it, take the asterisk out. Um, now, uh, previous fonts that we had, next fonts. Okay, so here. So let's say we're we're happy with this as our image for our quote and we want to um, we can play around with the saturation and the brightness okay we can play around with however we like it just like we did in pick monkey um, until you're you know until you're satisfied with with what you want it to look like Originally, we started with red. Here it looks like it's blue all the way over to green. So I kind of like the red. Now I can't remember where it went. Somewhere in the middle here. Um, actually, now that it goes green, kind of like green. So let's try. Uh, let's try green. And there's oh there's also next effects as well um, so yeah there's a lot of different things that you can do here so now that this is done so we'll leave it at purple so we'll save it as a as a JPEG or a ping it doesn't matter um, just save it to your computer um, call it quotes image, save it, and there you have it. And then when you go to your um, to your blog post, you can easily just insert it into your blog post from your computer. So that's it. Thank you.